today I'm going to show you how you connect Expressworks on an Odin W2 USB EVK that you can find on the support page, evaluation kits and application boards. You scroll down to the EVK W262U and on this uh, page you can um, purchase the uh, USB module and you find other documentation and resources that could be needed. Together with the EVK, you need the uh, PC software S-Center that you found on the evaluation software and tools. And you click the S-Center page and here you find the link to download the program. And after downloading, you install it. Depending on your security settings, you may get this warning, but there are no risk to install it. So run anyway and install and accept. And after that, you launch the S-Center. And the first thing you have to, have to do is to connect your EVK to your PC. And here you find two COM ports, in this case COM10 and COM41. I have two EVKs in this example. I select one and make sure the board rate is 115200. And this EVK uses flow control. Make sure that is enabled. Then you press open uh, and then you get the, the version of the software and you find on the basic connections, you have inquiry, low energy discovery, and Wi-Fi scan. There's also a simple way to make connections using SPP, on, low energy, connecting Wi-Fi, set up an access point, activate the Ethernet connection, set up TCP connections, enable bridge mode, and uh, more advanced network settings and also the bind command that I will show you later. One of the most basic thing you can do is a Bluetooth inquiry and you can easily do that by clicking this button and it will show you um, what uh, Bluetooth devices that are in the neighborhood. In this case there are 14 different. And you can also make a Wi-Fi scan really easy and there are a lot of different Wi-Fi networks, 77 in this case. You will find them here. And on this product, the low energy is not enabled, so you can't make a discovery. So you need to enable the central role before. And uh, you set that, and it requires a restart. And S-Center will handle that. And when you have restarted it, you are able to search for low energy devices as well. And uh, there are quite many in this area as well. Now I'm going to connect the Odin EVK to a smartphone. And I start to activate the personal hotspot on the phone. I select personal hotspot. I change my password to one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I enable the hotspot on the phone. Now I will search for the phone and it's called Ublox iPhone. To make it simple, scroll down and here it is. It will select the SSID and the authentication and encryption. And I simple at the password that I entered on the hotspot. I activate with Wi-Fi and I wait for the IP address and here I get got this. To test the internet connection, I will ping in the Ublox website and you will see that it has a connection here. Now I will use the Wi-Fi connection to the phone to connect to an app TCP console that is a third party app. I select server and I enter the port number. I start the server and I enter the console mode. Uh, to connect to the phone, you need to connect to the gateway IP address. Uh, 20, 10 and 1. And the port is the one that is opened in the app. I connect and I go to data mode. If I type hello, it will show up on the app. And on the other direction, if I type hello, 
I get the data to the EVK module.